What's going on workforce? Brian here and in today's video we're talking about power leveling your blue mage from 1 to 50. In this guide we're going to be talking about your skill that you want to have as well as whatever buddies that you want to bring with you in this process. It's a fantastic way to level blue mage if you've got somebody obviously who to help burn down these <laughs> monsters. Anything you want. Now you want to avoid obviously any uh, fate, you want to avoid any type of thing. You just want to focus in on the open world mobs. They are exactly what you want to do. So to start, let's talk about your action that you want to learn really to have this offhand. Flying Sardine, an instant cast spell. The reason you want this is because you, the player, are going to be the one tagging the mobs. You want to run out and you want to tag them and let your friends burn them down. So the easiest way to manage the spell is you learn this from the op collar. Now, if you guys don't know where they are, they're gonna be right here on Blood Shore next to Cast of Soul. So it's poured in here. These are level 30 mobs, so still bring a friend with you. You can have this at level one. And you can see it's an insta-cast ability. You're gonna see them throw the fish at you, and that's how they're going to die. Now, it is a very weak spell. It's not gonna put out a lot of damage, but all I needed to do is tag the mob, and then I'm ready to go. Okay, so now here's where it gets real easy. With Flying Sardine, all you need to do is tag these enemies and it goes really quick. With somebody who's standing outside your party, power leveling you, you do not want them whatsoever in your group. And so what we ended up doing is just kind of rotating because levels were happening so incredibly fast, we ended up switching out every couple of levels just because everybody obviously wanted to level blue, but we found this to be the most incredibly XP efficient. Now also wanna be clear, it doesn't matter what camp you pick. Find level mobs that you feel comfortable with, that obviously the people who are helping you out have no problems with. Uh, also look where other people are. If there's a ton of people in that area, find other camp zones anywhere. We found the Camp Blue Fog was working real well. We found that South and Thanalin worked really well. Anything where, you know, the mobs are easily to be handled and you're not going to be overwhelmed, this is going to be the place for you. So just find the best place where there's not a lot of people and just go nuts. Now, if you have somebody who has no interest in leveling blue, I think you're going to be just fine and you're going to burn down these things as it is. Now, we found level 20 above your level works, level 30 above your works. All you need to do is have the claim and you're going to just be feeding yourself with so much XP. Put on any food buffs, put on any kind of XP buffs, put on any ring buffs. All of those play in a factor and we ended up really out leveling at least somebody who knew was a group who did not have it because that's just how good the XP is in the open world. Again, avoid your uh, you know, fates, avoid quests like you want your open world mobs and that's going to be where the value comes in. Anyway guys, this is perfectly fun, perfectly legal. Uh, it is just what's in the game right now. So just go nuts and have fun with Blue Mage. My name is Brian. And this is Work to Game. Thanks so much for watching this video, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Take care. Oh, hello. Were you expecting somebody? Chuck like? <laughs> well, I'll never tell where he is. Only that if you want to see your friend again, you should totally hit subscribe. And maybe even a thumbs up. Thumbs down don't make me happy. And when I'm not happy, something happens to Chuck. <laughs> I'm not joking. Goodbye. Subscribe. I'm still here. I'm not going anywhere. See you next time.